Today, the Supreme Court issued a ruling regarding gun ownership by those convicted of certain domestic violence charges. While this decision derives from a case out of Texas, our Attorney General Dana Nessel says it has major implications for firearm laws here in Michigan. A lot of us were holding our breaths uh, collectively waiting for this decision to come out. The Supreme Court dropping a pivotal decision. This decision will undoubtedly help protect countless lives. Deeming a federal law constitutional. It says people can have their firearms temporarily seized if they have a restraining order against them related to domestic violence. Michigan's recently passed ERPO law was modeled after the federal law at issue in the Rahimi case. Zachary Rahimi possessed multiple firearms after having such a protection order, arguing the federal statute was unconstitutional. And the Supreme Court's decision to day only confirms the constitutionality of our own law. Michigan recently passed laws aimed at reducing gun violence. Extreme risk protection order, otherwise known as the red flag laws, safe and secure storage, universal background checks, and then also the prohibition on an individual who has been convicted of a domestic violence offense from uh, gun ownership or purchase or possession for eight years. Nessel says the decision by the high court in a way codifies the constitutionality of similar gun laws in Michigan. I think that Rahimi stands for the propositions that the right to bear arms is not unlimited. Justices made an almost unanimous decision Friday, eight of the nine in agreement. I think what we're seeing is the understanding that, you know, we don't have to live the way that we have been living. Nessel added she feels our recently passed laws are having a positive impact. There have been 62 extreme risk protection order issued since that act went into effect in February. In the studio, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.